In this video I'm going to take a look at running Ghost on Embassy OS. Ghost allows you to host your own blogs and web pages too. We'll start by going to the marketplace, click on Ghost and click install. We'll get hit with this warning. Please be sure to take in any warning or alert that pops up on Embassy OS. In this case it's warning us that transaction email delivery may only work for ProtonMail and Cryptext users. I'm going to go ahead and click install. Now that it's installed, we'll need to configure the service. In this case, we only have one option, which is tinfoil mode that we can turn on or off. Tinfoil mode was something we added to Embassy OS, but as it says here, disable some of the features that Ghost offers, which might leak metadata, such as your IP address. We're gonna leave this off for this demonstration so that I can show you all of the features of Ghost. I'll press okay, I'll leave this off and press save. We're going to start the service now, and while that starts up, I'm going to read the instructions here. Please make sure to read through the instructions, and you have a link to the Ghost Resources page here as well if you want to get deeper into it. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Launch UI and have a look at the default site that gets set up for us. And here we can see the landing page that's created by default. You can click through on here, and this is the first article. Although you didn't write it, this is something we left there as a default, and this is what your website looks like. We'll head on back to Embassy now, and if you click through into Properties, you can see here the two URLs that you need to use if you want to make edits to the website. We're using .local at the moment because that's faster. However, you can do all this over the Tor network via the .onion URL as well. So we'll go ahead and copy the .local one, and I should point out that this URL here is exactly the same as what people will use to get to the website. Well, they'll use .local if they're on your local area network and .onion if they're on the Tor network. But all you need to do here is to add ghost to log in as the administrator. But the first time we do it, we're gonna to have to set up the admin account. This is exactly the same as what we just copied from here. So the site title, we're going to make The Daily Sovereign. For full name, I'll just write my name. Email is not currently supported, so you can just write anything here, but you won't get a confirmation email once you're done creating this account. So I'm just going to write in mechanic at start9.com and create a password. As ever, it's important that you use a good password, but this password won't be stored anywhere on your embassy and without transactional emails working, if you forget it, you'll be locked out of this forever. If you have Vault Warden installed on your embassy, you can save the password there. And here we go. This is the first thing you'll see as the administrator of your ghost service. You can write your first post. This can just read my first post. What shall we say? I am a fan of personal responsibility. And for fun, I'm just going to include a nice picture there. Now we can click publish, continue, final review, and publish post right now. In order to see that, because we're in Brave, we're going to need a new private window with Tor. I'm just going to minimize that quickly while that connects. And here I'm going to copy the link address. Now that Tor is connected successfully, we can paste that address in there and we should be able to see our blog post. And there it is, my first blog post on my own website, accessible from anywhere in the world over the Tor network. Don't be concerned about this not secure sign, as Tor hidden services do have an extra layer of encryption that protects connections anyway, even without HTTPS. Let's head back to the admin panel. We can click back to editor and back to posts. Here you can see the post we just wrote, as well as the default post that was created when we installed the service. You can create more posts. They can become drafts if you're not ready to publish them yet. You can schedule them for later. And here's a list of all published posts. If we just click on dashboard for now, we can see a summary of everything we've been doing. Now let's take a look at pages. Here you can actually create a web page. 
So you can press new page, type uh, bio. My name is Mechanic and I'm a Bitcoin addict. There we go. I've made a short biography for myself. I'm going to publish that and continue with final review and publish. Now, if we click here, unfortunately, again, I'm not going to be able to view that uh, in Brave unless I go to the Brave onion window. And I'm going to paste that in there. And I can see what my bio looks like once this loads. There we go. Now, if we want this to show up in the top panel here, we can go back to our editor. Go back to pages. Click settings down here. Click navigation and add bio here. That will be the name of the tab and this is the URL. So we can save that. And now when we look at our website, if we just refresh this, here we can look at the tabs along the top and see that we got a new one, bio. And it looks like this. Let's head back to the panel again and take a look at some of the other things we can do. Here you can turn on dark mode, which I should have done at the beginning of this video, as Start9 is a dark mode exclusive company. Here you can take a look at your profile. Here you can create an avatar for yourself, add a location, a website, social media details, and lots of other things. Going back into settings, you can also make some changes to the design and do a lot of customization to make your website and blog look exactly as you'd like. Under the Members tab, you can set what people have access to, you can deal with subscription stuff and even pricing options, and there are emails as well. However, email isn't going to work unless you set up Mailgun. Mailgun are a third party you'll need to use if you want to send out emails as newsletters. We'll head back and click on Membership. Currently, it's only possible for people to be members for free. Premium membership will become available for this, and you'll be able to set up paywalls within your own blogs, whereby people can read the certain amount that you allow them, and then they'll need to pay some money to access the rest of the content. This has not yet been fully integrated, but it will be. Here you can modify the subscription access. Currently, it's, currently and by default, it's set up so that anyone can sign up, but you can change that so that only people you invite can sign up, or even nobody, or even make it so that nobody can. Back on the dashboard, we're still being prompted to add or import members. If I click here and I add myself as a member to test, I'm then going to see some of the stats for myself as a user. I can then go back to dashboard and start seeing some of the metrics about my website and my blog. I can watch what happens with my membership over time and see it grow, collecting all of this information without any third parties and without permission. Enjoy Ghost.